So now I'm going to talk a little bit about our conference, our conferences we put on. Uh, we do an annual conference. This is a photo from our conference, in, uh, that was in Phoenix. Uh, we did that in association with uh, Wildlife World Zoo there. We also put on at our conferences an Avicultural Hall of Fame. And these are four of the inductees uh, that we did a couple years ago. It's Frank Miser on the left, uh, Dick Schroeder, Gail Worth, and Roland Christo. Some of those you might be familiar with. Uh, but these are people who have done outstanding achievements in aviculture. We try to recognize those every year at our conference. But one of the things that makes our conference very unique and I think very special is the fact that we always try to have it hosted by some sort of a public zoo or something like that. Uh, a couple years ago we did it with SeaWorld San Diego and we got to do a lot of fun behind the scenes things. Uh, so this was at the barbecue after hours at SeaWorld and they walked out their flamingos right into the crowd of us. They brought out penguins, they had uh, black vultures, crown cranes, uh, African eagle owls, all this stuff that you normally have to, as a visitor, see behind bars or you know across the moat or whatever, you got to go right up and, and touch these things. So this, these are really special opportunities that you get uh, when you come to one of our conferences. So there's a picture, that's Frank Todd up uh, here with a, a crown crane on his arm. And Frank Todd is actually one of the people who helps put on our conference. Uh, he's noteworthy because he's the one that created and designed the penguin encounters. So he's the guy that went to Antarctica, collected the eggs, he designed the entire facility. So this is a really phenomenal person. He's one of our Hall of Famers, of course, too, because he's done an incredible contribution to aviculture through what he's done with the penguins as well as other waterfowl and things like that. Uh, this is a group of uh, keepers. We have a lot of keepers that come to our conferences, uh, but you also get to rub elbows with these people, so it's a really unique opportunity. It's one of the things that sets us apart. There's a few more. This is Martin Vince. If you're into soft bills, he wrote a wonderful soft bill book, and he was one of our speakers. And Martin Vince was really excited because he got to walk an aardvark. <laughs> That's a guy that works at a zoo, but he never had the opportunity to walk an aardvark before. So this is a tame aardvark. This is Joan Emery. A lot of you remember Joan Emery, right? She also helps out with our conferences. That aardvark belongs to Joan Emery. That's Joan Emery with her king vulture. So we get lots of things like this in our conference. It's just a blast. So even, I think, if you're not a real bird person, you're going to have a lot of fun at our banquets and barbecues and things like that. And of course, we put on uh, regular talks all day long, too. So our next conference is coming out March 31st to April 2nd, and that's going to be hosted this year by Safari West. Uh, how many of you are familiar with Safari West? I know a few of you are. Okay, I'll talk to you a little bit about it. Safari West is a really unique facility. So here's a photo of just a portion of Safari West. This is located up in the hills between Santa Rosa and Calistoga, okay, up in the wine country up there. And you'll notice it's up in the rolling hills, so it goes way back beyond these hills too. And uh, there's lots of wildlife there. Now this is a privately held facility. And what's really fascinating about it is that it's actually run sort of like a bed and breakfast. It's not your standard zoo that you pay an admission, you go walk around a zoo and look at the animal exhibits. If you notice, these little buildings, those are actually tents. They're African safari tents. Now, these are the most luxurious safari tents you've ever seen. But you have the opportunity to go to Safari West at any time. You can rent one of those, and you might wake up one day with a giraffe looking at your bedroom window. It's really a fascinating and fun experience, and Peter Lang, the owner, has invited us up there for our next conference. So we're going to spend the entire day there on Friday. Our conference runs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but the entire day is going to be at Safari West, and we have some special programs there, and it'll be a lot of fun. Now, these vehicles, these are something Peter Lang is really into, off-road vehicles and all that, but these are actual African safari vehicles he's brought over, and it's a little deceptive looking. That, the hood of that is about six feet tall. These are huge, I forget what they're called. But you can go out in these vehicles up over those rolling hills 
and look at all the antelope and buffalo and things like that he has. It's really fascinating. And of course, they have a cultural society, so uh, he does have a great collection of birds, so we're interested in the birds too. Uh, you can see an Abyssinian ground hornbill up there, a lilac breasted roller, and a Victoria crown pigeon. And what's that other one? <laughs> Isolia over here. It's yours. <laughs> That's the Argus pheasant, yeah. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> it's but uh, yeah, he has a great collection of birds too, so it's a lot of fun. There's one of his walk in aviaries. Uh, and there's even little antelope running around down there with the bird. It's just a great place. So here's the basic conference uh, schedule uh, Thursday, we have all, talks all day long at the Hilton. Uh, Thursday evening, we're setting up a wine tasting tour. Friday again, all day at Safari West. We have a barbecue at Safari West. Saturday, talks all day. We have a banquet that night. And Sunday, we, we're done. Basically, you're free to travel or do sightseeing in the area. Uh, here's a selection of some of the speakers. So you can see there's a good cross-section. A lot of very unique topics. So these are things you don't get at the standard conferences. Uh, that a lot of the bird societies put on. So, and there's, right now, let's <laughs> see one, ooh! Right now we have Jack Hanna lined up. He was gonna speak last year for us too. Now Jack Hanna, the, the trouble with Jack Hanna is that he's very busy and you never know when he gets called to go to Africa to film something. So we try to line him up and if it works out, he'll be there as our keynote speaker. If not, we'll have another great uh, keynote speaker but you can see, we try to do this uh, so it's a lot of fun for everybody. So again, that's April 31st, April 2nd. I have flyers up here. And also, the registration for ASA members at 195, non-members 200 or 220, that includes everything I just talked about, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 